to all the rappers out there, let me give you a piece of advice. I don't care how good you think you are, you always have to improve. I don't care how long you've been rapping, you always have to improve and get better. Look at all of the great MCs. Think about every legendary MC, whether they are alive or they've passed away. In order for them to be great, they all had to improve their pen game. They all had to improve their songwriting ability. They all had to improve something about them in order for them to become legendary. And if that's your aim, you have to constantly improve. Take it from me. One reason why my rap career didn't pop off the way I wanted it to is because I never improved my artistic expression. I became so comfortable with what I was doing that I thought that that was enough. And as long as I kept to the same formula, I'll succeed. The problem with the formula that I had is it never challenged me to be better. Don't get it wrong. I believe I definitely improved from where I was, let's say, 10 years ago when I started rapping to where I was, let's say, a year from now. There have definitely been some improvements. But as I write music or write lyrics even today, I notice that I'm kind of comfortable. And the fact that I'm comfortable means I need to upgrade what I do. One thing that I've never really been good at is freestyling off the top of the dome. Give me a pen and give me a beat, I can write anything. But for some reason, writing songs, I mean freestyling, was always difficult for me. Like you can tell if I was freestyling or just reciting something that I had already written. So what I've been doing the past few days is just improving my freestyling ability. I still write lyrics, I still write rhymes, but I'm learning to become more comfortable with freestyling, not just acapella, but choosing different beats so I can adapt and adjust my flow. And since I've been doing that the past few days, I've already noticed an improvement in my ability to freestyle. And it feels great. And of course, I can only get better. I can only improve. And by freestyling, it's also going to improve my songwriting ability. So that's why I'm telling all the artists out there, all the rappers, especially the rappers. Because sometimes I think what happens is... You get a few of your homeboys and y'all all freestyling or you rapping and everyone tells you that you're good, so you get comfortable. You feel like you don't have to try different things, try different flows, try different subject matters, try different flow patterns. You just get stuck in the same rhythm. We see it happen to a lot of the major artists. A lot of the major artists will make an album, they'll sell a lot of copies, maybe go platinum. And they'll be so comfortable that they never challenge themselves to improve on what they've already have uh, constructed so far. So that's why I'm telling you, if you are a rapper, make sure you are constantly improving. Not just that, make sure you are constantly improving your vocabulary. It's very important because a lot of times I think, well, at least for myself, I get writer's block. And it's not necessarily that I have writer's block. It's just a lot of times I get repetitive with the words that I'm using. So I'll crack open a dictionary or I like to read books and I'll try to take a word that I never used before, even a word that I'm familiar with, and but I never used in a rhyme before. And I'll try to use that word. Or let's say I take a word like pain, right? I'll go in a dictionary or go online and type in pain synonyms. And I try to use a synonym for pain. So instead of saying pain, I can say agony, you know, I can say something like afflicted or something like that. Anything that has to do with pain, like let's say you're a rapper and you always rap about money. Well, what's a synonym for money? You can talk about wealth. What's a synonym for wealth? You know what I mean? So on and so forth. And it will help improve not only your vocabulary, but it will allow you to choose different words. So you're not just stuck with the same vocabulary and you don't get repetitive 
with how you present your message. Because the truth is, it doesn't really matter what you're rapping about. People rap about all kinds of things. It's not even about what you're rapping about. It's how you present what you're rapping about. You can rap about the club. You can rap about the government. It doesn't matter. As long as the presentation is good and people want to listen and you have different flows and you're challenging yourself, it's all good. Lately, I've been studying Lil Wayne. In my, opinion, Lil, in my opinion, Lil Wayne is one of the greatest MCs of all time. He's in my personal top five, not only because of his longevity, but his ability to constantly evolve through the times without changing who he really is. He's remained Lil Wayne, but he's been able to evolve throughout the times. And a big part of that is because he challenged himself to constantly improve and get better, improve his wordplay, improve his metaphors. And now he's one of the greatest MCs of all time. Think about Eminem. Think about Jay-Z. Think about any legendary MC. So that's something I definitely want to tell all the young rappers out there. One reason why my rap career failed is because I failed to improve myself. Don't be like me. One reason why my rap career failed is because I failed to improve myself. I became so comfortable. I had homeboys telling me, oh, that music is good, it's dope, it's good. And then you start to fall into a pattern. And then next thing you know, you're never growing as an artist or even as a person. So definitely make sure you do that. Always challenge yourself to be better. If you're used to writing 16 bars, try to write 24 bars. You're used to that, challenge yourself to write 32 bars. You know, challenge yourself. If you like to rap over Southern beats, challenge yourself to rap over East Coast beats. You like East Coast beats, challenge yourself to rap over West Coast beats. Make your own beats. You know, maybe infuse hip hop with another genre of music. I mean, whatever you have to do to constantly change yourself. I mean, not change yourself, but grow. Because you want to remain who you are, but you still want to evolve and grow so that way you don't get stagnant and stuck in the same place so with that being said if you found any value in this video uh video <laughs> video go ahead and hit the like button subscribe comment leave a comment if you took something away from this video maybe share a tip or something that helps you with your songwriting abilities uh make sure you turn on post notifications subscribe if you haven't i appreciate everyone who's been subscribing to the channel it is much appreciated. I cannot thank you all enough. And as I said before, one day I'm going to try to find a way to pay you all back in any way that I can. With that being said, I love all of you. I wish all of you well. Peace and love. God bless.